clean your Porsche Boxer radiator. Your front bumper is captured by various screws. You remove this thing, there's one screw right here and one screw right here. But you can't access this because the front bumper is over here. You gotta sneak in behind this little flap. This little flap is held in by a couple of these little screw thingies. You gotta pop them open and take them out. Take three of them out, just enough to remove this so you can reach in here and get to this screw and unscrew it. One right here, one right here, and one right here is enough to make this loose enough so that you can reach in there. Be careful though, if you pull these little things too hard, it's gonna deform itself. You can see over here, this one got a little deformed. Over here, I got a little impatient and even broke it. So the recommended method is you do need to squeeze some maybe WD-40 or something in there so that it's a little bit looser and easier to open. This is the bottom of the bumper. It's held together by star-shaped T30 torque screws. One, two, three, four. This is a Phillips. Five, six, seven, eight. The top of the bumper is held together by four of these flathead screws. They're not really screws actually. You just turn them until they're horizontal and they pop right out. You see the bottom? It's not really a screw. After you remove the cover, there's one, two Phillips screws over here. Really easy to remove. I just removed the front bumper off a of Porsche Boxster 2001. It's 2018 right now. 17 years of accumulation of this stuff in the radiator. This is what dropped from the bottom. Wow, there's like a cigarette butt in here. Two of them. Just a lot of trash. I just released two screws over here. I cleaned it up already, but more dropped down. Let's see what's in between. There's so much stuff in between there. All clean now. You can see in between. I can't get to everything, but you know, removing like two pounds of dirt should do it pretty well. So there you have it, you need to clean your radiators. If you notice your engine temperature rising much above 180 degrees, mine goes up to 185 uh, pretty regularly. So I think after cleaning this, it would probably drop back down to 181. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in getting more of my DIY videos, push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.